Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, we are going to discuss the thalamus. Thalamus is the broadened swollen part of the flower which lies at the tip of pedicel and it bears floral organs. We can observe that this is thalamus. Thalamus is equal to We can observe thalamus here and it is giving rise to stamen, carpals, petals and sepals. Thalamus is similar to a dwarf shoot. in which here we can observe the thalamus which is giving rise to sepals, petals, stamen and carpals. Thalamus is similar to a dwarf shoot in which growth is definite and the internodes are shortened or very short. Rarely internodes may become elongated. And Various terms are used for these elongations. For example, these may be termed as anthophore, it is said anthophore when elongation is between calyx and Corolla. The examples include Silene. The terminology will be Androphore if elongation is between Corolla and Androsium. The examples include Passiflora. The modification or terminology will be Gynophore if the elongation is in between Androsium and Gynesium. Examples include Cleome and Caparis. There is another modification that is Carpophore. We can observe the Carpophore here. 
the terminology carpophore is used when the thalamus is prolonged or elongated into gynecium to form a central axis. The examples include coriander. Coriander is phoeniculum. Phoeniculum vulgare. We can observe the anthophore here. This is elongated between calyx and the corolla. These are the petals coming out, and this is the origin for sepals. So, this is between calyx and corolla. This is anthophore. This is androphore. We can observe this androphore here that is between corolla and the androsium. This is androphore. This will be the androphore. These are carpophores and this is gynophore. Gynophore is in between androsium and gynosium. In case of gynandropsis, we can observe gynophore and androphore both. So these are the few points of discussions about thalamus. Thanks for watching this video.